Yo guys, been a while. Welcome back on the Uncle Sharma channel. If you guys didn't know, I've been on holiday. I've been on my honeymoon. I got married. That is the reason why I have not been making videos. I'm out here in the Maldives. I'll be back tomorrow to the UK. I've been here for eight nights and this is the reason for my hiatus. Probably the longest I've gone without making a video. But today before leaving, I found this little empty badminton court in the island, which is really cool. Look at it. What a way, what a place to play badminton. Um, yeah, quick update on what's been going on. I've been keeping up, but obviously I've been able to watch games of watching highlights. I've missed the Fiorentina game, which looks amazing. I definitely want to watch it from start to end. Full 90 minutes, give a full reaction. Um, we're looking good. Three wins. Three clean sheets, which is completely different to how we started last season. Um, you know, we were last year. I remember we were looking shaky at the back, even though we were winning. Um, players throwing their arms left and right. The attitude there seems to be nervousness, but it looks completely different this time around. It looks really good. Can't wait to catch up with the uh, with the games. I mean, I watched the Cagliari. The only game I really missed is the Fiorentina one. But first of all, Simone Inzaghi. 2025 contract we knew we knew it was coming it's been a couple of months since they you know Marotta said it was going to happen his agent said it was going to happen and yeah happy well deserved uh, Marotta always said he doesn't like his coaches to work with one year left on the contract which is what Inzaghi had now so that's good you know if there's offers that come for Inzaghi which you know the more time goes on and the more he continues smashing it in Champions League I'm sure those clubs, Premier League, La Liga teams will be sniffing around. Uh, so that keeps him, you know, at least somewhat secure or other teams would have to pay us something, some compensation to steal Limone away from us. And of course, Limone Bo, we enjoy, I'm an enjoyer of Limone Bo. The only thing we can ask of him is to bring that second star home now. That's the only thing that's missing really from Limone's time at Inter two years of failed attempts to get the second star this year i think as i've been saying guys you know we've been commenting all summer <clears throat> which is all we can do when when marotta makes a mistake it's like if let's say bastoni makes a mistake or di marco makes a mistake um i'm going to comment on it i'm going to say i'm going to call him out like if bastoni's made a, a mistake that leads to a goal i'm going to say bastoni messed up that's what you know we were saying about Marotta, Auxilio, the dealings, you know, Arnautovic, Kamaka, Lukaku, all the stuff that was going on. It was just commenting, moaning, I guess. But in the end, as I was saying since the beginning of the summer, guys, you know, I've been saying this before the transfer window even started. Inzaghi will be given a squad good enough to challenge for Scudetto. And we definitely have that shown in the first three games. Let's see, obviously only three games, but... The squad depth now is even better than it was last season, in my opinion. The strike force is the uh, the big question mark. We made the marquee signing. I haven't spoken to you guys since we signed Pavar, but he's there. Most expensive signing of Serie A as well. There's people were asking, where's the Onana money? Where's the Onana money? There it is. We've 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 made a plus minus zero summer, as I demanded from the beginning of the year, and they actually delivered on that. Um, so... Yeah, Inzaghi is given the tools. Let's see if he can do what he should be doing. Um, but I'm happy that he's staying. And then, yeah, everything else. Davi Klaasen, last day signing. That was a, that was a surprise one. Um, again, Inzaghi has been given what he wants. Apparently, he wanted a physical midfielder, another midfielder, seventh midfielder. Since he's still there, so we're stacked in midfield in terms of depth, as I was saying. Apparently that was his request and he's been given his request. Uh, whether he asked for a guy from the Dutch league who's, you know, not had the greatest last few years, you know, flopped to Everton. I think he's at okay at Ajax. Um, looks like the, it looks like we signed a depressed version of Ericsson um, with his hairline and stuff. But I don't really have much to say about Klausen because I haven't watched him over the last few years. Um, neat and tidy player, I guess. Um, not sure what really the profile need was for Klaasen because he seems to be a, a marauding player like 
likes to get into the box late, runs into the box like Fratesi already does. And Barella obviously has learning to do over the last few years. So I don't really know what the real need for Klaasen was. Agum is staying. He's going to be the mascot for the team, I guess, because Inzaghi clearly... Oh yeah, that's another thing that I've seen, even though I've not been following too closely. It's clear now. I mean, we joke about it on the channel, but Inzaghi does not rate Aslani and Sensi. Like, they tried to get rid of Sensi until the last day, pretty much. Um, but no offers came through. I thought they would be. And obviously he got injured just before the Fiorentina game, just to remind us if you were thinking of jumping on the CNC train again of why you shouldn't I still will because I'm you know, an idiot uh, and Aslani I mean he was given some charity minutes against Fiorentina so but yeah first two games zero minutes yeah. when, a play, when a coach doesn't rate a play you can just see it we just saw it last year you know he had less minutes than Gagliardini um, just a little bit more minutes than Bellanova yeah, that's one, we know, when we talk about Inzaghi, the development of the youth, so the younger players is one aspect that we're asking him. Well, we fans want him, but I don't, I don't know if the club's asking him to improve on. But I think this is the year, you know, Aha Khan is now earning on the big contract. He's earning exactly what Brozovic used to be earning. He's very expensive on the books and Marotta confirmed that Saudi Arabia offers came for Hakan. So we need Aslani to step up to the plate and maybe show that, you know, long term he can take that spot as well and maybe we can sacrifice Hakan and then you know you know we know what you know what the cycle is. We have to sacrifice one guy, get a considerable amount of money in like we did with Onana and then reinvest that money either for that position itself or for the rest of the squad. Uh, which now is actually in good condition. The, this summer has been so busy uh, one of the most busiest summers we've ever seen at Inter like literally we bought a new team I think was it 12 players in total and 12 players left so yeah we literally have like a new team although the starting 11 that we've been seeing is pretty much the same apart from Marcus Turam who's had a great start very very impressed with Marcus Turam's start obviously we were joking about his lack of shots on target in pre-season but yeah his goal against Fiorentina was great and he probably should have a few more but Really, really good start from Tikus. Lautaro. Lautaro looks like he's... Every season, he just keeps going up a level. Let's see. I mean, yeah, we don't want him to go too up because then the big clubs start coming in. The reason why no one's gone in for Lautaro is because of his inconsistencies and, you know, what he did at the World Cup, his reputation kind of, you know, dwindled. It's good for us that we like, get to keep him, but at the same time, if he, yeah, if he comp if he becomes the complete package, then he's not going to be at Inter, as we've seen. We don't have the power to keep some of these players. But Capitan Lautaro, maybe, is a guy that can show us that players can be loyal to. Let's see. Let's find out. But anyway, quick video. I don't know if I'll get to make any videos over the next couple of days because I'll be flying back, long flight back. Um... I don't know if I'll have time, but anyway, with the international break, I definitely want to do a Mercato review, see, show you guys in terms of spreadsheets. We can do a final update of the spreadsheet, how much money we've saved, I've spent, etc. Squad costs, and uh, yeah, we'll see. But apologies for no videos, but I'm sure you guys, uh, the Inter Worldwide boys, kept you guys going. They did a good job, Anthony and Co. Mattia. So. Yeah, don't worry, I've not gone anywhere, I'll be back. Uh, but of course, you guys know what to do, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I want to know your thoughts on this Inter team. I want to look at the comments and then, yeah, make my judgments when I watch Inter. I'm going to look at the comments and see um, what you guys think and see if I match up with your thoughts. Anyway guys, always Forza Inter, even from the Maldives. Ciao ragazzi, always, always Forza Inter.